Hello, you ambient freaks. You're all fans of the slew. That's how you say that. From Warros Audio. Which is why Warros Audio said, if you're all fans, then you want presets because you want to save all the craziness that you can do with the slew. That's why they did the slew there. I'm going to say that's how you say that. Could also be slow bar, but I th- it's got a little dot on the A, so probably slow bar. I don't know. This is what the slow bar, slow bar, slow bar looks like. It's pretty much the same damn pedal, which means we're doing the same damn video we've already same damn done, just with presets. But it's worth it because that is a phenomenally inspirational pedal. If you don't want to use synth on your music, if you want to play guitar and do really cool background parts, if you want to just have fun, if you want to actually creatively, you not if you're doing metal, go away if you're a metal guy, it doesn't make sense. But for a lot of pop rock situations, I've used this pedal in, in songs uh, to its full effect. So... Uh, what is it? Well, we have three different reverb algorithms. There is no spring. It is not your traditional reverb. Go away if that's what you're looking for. Um, you turn it on with a soft clicky here. Uh, if you hold this in, then um, sustain will ensue and it uh, more. And now, brand new, if you push both of them, which I'm not going to do because I just set it up, uh, you change one of the three presets. If we look at it from the back, which is the only place where things are, you see input, output, all mono and nine volt. That's how it's supposed to be. And uh, what do we have on top? We have decay. Everything's going ring. That's not the pedal. Uh, we have decay, which is how much reverb do you have? Filter, how dull is it? Kind of tailored to each one of the algorithms. Mix. How much of the reverb do you hear compared to the guitar right now? It's only reverb. X is uh, the name of my dog, but also true. One thing for each of these is determined. It's kind of one parameter. And then depth is the modulation. There is a secondary function. If you're holding in bypass, switching the switch, you can switch which kind of modulation LFO shape do you have. And when you're holding in the switch uh, bypass, this is not just depth, this will be speed of the LFO modulation. That being said, we're going into the Sky King, Baton King, with this guitar, which is kind of turquoise, but then it's purple, <gasps> turquoise, purple, turquoise, it's a Shabbat, Li- is it Lynx? I was, the lion is on the, Lynx and Lion, I get these confused, it's the Shabbat Lynx in freaking ridiculous Go to Avi Shabbat, Avi Shabbat's website and check it out. If you're, you're going to say, oh, that looks like a Friedman, he's the guy who actually designed the Friedman guitars. He had the headstock first. I'm going to use this. Well, this is clean. 412 Kreenbeck loaded cap from the Ox. So I'm going to use this preset that I just built because it really shows off what the sled bear can do. That's drastic, but also super unique, and you can fully do cool synthy kind of pads with that that don't sound synthy. So, to show you what's happening there, we are on the Dream, which is very modulated. And now 
now you hear more of the reverb because I didn't, don't feel that anymore. Can it be subtle? Yes. Is that why you buy this right there? No. It really can't be subtle. That's a very small setting and it's not subtle. That's not why you're buying the slot mat. We're going to go to dark and start right there. We're going to look up what the X thing does. It's Of course, it's, it's well, I know, it's, it's the octave. Because dark adds a lower octave, uh, as you will hear. I'm going to get rid of my original guitar. So I've just held this in and switched the knobby, the switchy switch, to sign, and so no modulation. So I'm going to fully dial in the octave now, and I should have something organy because I'm adding an, uh, an octave. I must have accidentally uh, not held in the bypass correctly, and that's why I wasn't on the dark setting. Ha! Huh. Here we go. I was looking for the octave. So the X is a level for the octave. can now modulate that. Which is very drastic if I want to change the speed of that. Hold in bypass and change the depth knob. Be nice if it freaking said that wall was all you people. S depth slash speed. Why, why can't you write that? on the thing? Did you run out of ink? Did you run out of silk screen color there, Mr. Walrus Audio? Frankie Walrus? I don't know what your name is. I do know what your name is. Let's change the waveform, holding this in. Oh look, it actually blinks in the speed. That is nice. Do it faster. So warp. And the sink, it's kind of ew, ew. But it again switched the algorithm. So what am I doing wrong? I'm holding it in, I'm switching sync, okay, I let go, now it did it, okay, gotta be, I don't know when to let go. I mean, 
Would it really be too complicated to give it two, three position switches? I mean, really, Walrus Audi people, what in the middle of the moon would it be so bad to give it another switch so that you have a switch for the algorithm and a switch for the uh, modulation setting? Why make us jump through hoops by pushing in the bypass? Therefore, as you can see, creating problems. Bad Walrus Audi people. <laughs> But it's very intuitive now, I mean, if you know what you're doing. I want it darker, more brooding. Let's put some overdrive in front of it. Clearly, some coolness can be achieved. We're moving on to the rise, which is a, you know. So with X, it is the rise time. thing is the guitar is fully there and they're kind of like ducking a little bit like it, the, the reverb comes from the background and doesn't really interfere with what you're doing
and dream is the kind of Ah, oh, there's a vibrato inside. So that's X is the depth of the vibrato. I like this, how do I save it? I hold in both these preset buttons and then it is saved to the red thing. I could also push both of them, I'm on the green thing. And there's the thing that we just saved. It is done, and it is actually bigger than that. The slip there is the slur, just with presets. We've done the same video again. Could have just shown the presets, but some of you don't know the brilliance of the slur, which is now the slip there. And uh, you, by the way, if you don't say it like this, I get really pissed. Okay, it's not the slotvar. No, it's the slip there. Slurt there, slurt there. Say it with me. Slur, 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 slurt there, slurt there, slurt there, slurt there. Or in French, le slurt there. Okay, language lesson over. It is great. It is not your spring. It is not meant for the traditional stuff. It is meant to be bigger. It is meant to be wee wee. It is meant to be gigantic, ginormous, and and be used synthy-ish esque for experimental stuff. For ambient, it is brilliant. But also for like poppy rock stuff in the background, some really cool lines, higher notes. There's a lot of use for this if you let it. You have to open your mind to the slurt there. Uh, this was a paid for video, which is not why I'm saying it's brilliant. I, it is brilliant because I've used it quite a bit in music and like it. Uh, I have the original, so I actually have a second one um, because I was stupid enough to sell mine because I'm an idiot. So I got another one and now I have the slurt there with the uh, presets. Thank you, Boris Audio, for this. And I put links below that you are welcome to use. That really helps me. Thank you very much. Also, Patreon really helps me. Thank you very much. Also, Leslie, thank you for switching. Thank you very much. And um, um, thank you very much. Animals at the end. Me.